What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Southern Grist Brewing Company, and they are out of Nashville, Tennessee, and this is their Imperial Pina Colada Hill. So they're calling this one a sour ale that is brewed with lactose, pineapple puree, and shredded coconut. It comes in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is just over three months old. So I've been reviewing some Southern Grist on the channel lately because of some uh, very good friends of mine and even a fellow beer tuber. And uh, the funny thing is, is that we actually got a drop of Southern Grist here in the past two months or so. And um, when they showed up, I think there was like five or six different offerings. And when I went to my local uh, bottle shop, um, I just picked two out that really enticed me. And it was this one because I love coconut. I love pina coladas. So uh, this made sense. And then they had a uh, mimosa inspired sour ale. So I picked up two sour ales. I think there was like a lager and a cup, maybe an IPA. I don't remember, but this one and the other one I grabbed and I'm going to be reviewing them. So I really like what Southern Grist does. This sounds right in my wheelhouse. So let's get it into the glass and see what we got going on. So uh, anyway, crack it open here. So just over three months old, I have no, no nails. So getting into these a little bit tough. Um, over th just over three months old, we should be fine with a beer like this anyway. So yeah, it's pouring out like a sour. <laughs> Man, I can smell pina colada from here where I'm pouring it. That's insane. It smells awesome. I'll just be honest with you. Right off the rip, I can wafts of pina colada. So that uh, honestly looks like kind of like a hazy IPA. Uh, it has this really nice orange, a uh, little bit of like yellow around the edges. Uh, it's murky and turbid. has about a half a finger of this really creamy looking head. Let's see if we can swirl up a decent head here, but that looks super creamy. A little bit of alcohol legs too around. But yeah, that looks like, you know, a 7.3% sour ale with uh, pineapple puree, lactose, and shredded coconut. Sure, let's get a nose. Yeah, it's pina fucking colada, like without question. <laughs> yeah, it's... So the coconut, I will say this, the co coconut, they say shredded, they, they didn't toast it. At least I don't think so. It smells like fresh coconut. Like you just, you know, cracked into a coconut or you're eating like fresh coconut. Has that kind of vibrant coconut uh, feel to it. The pineapple puree almost giving me like the, the dull crushed pineapple. The lactose probably just adding a sweetness, uh, an additional sweetness to this one. Although with the pineapple puree and the shredded coconut, you already got a nice sweetness. A slight amount of tartness, but I'll be honest with you, if you just told me this was a pina colada ale, like just a generic ale, I would be like, all right, I believe you. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. It's pina colada in beer form, 7.3%. It doesn't smell like a sour of any sort, but hopefully we get a little bit of like a sour kick in the taste. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Really nice. It's a really nice beer. The one thing I will say, the first thing that hits me and my brain is trying to process is this isn't all that sour. It has a very slight tartness to it. So again, to harken back what I said in the nose, if you told me this was a pina colada L, yeah. Sour, not so much. Body on this one's like Medium, maybe a touch under, fine for 7.3%. The mouthfeel, it's smooth, but it's crisp. It has some car spritzy carbonation. Yeah, it's like moderately carbonated, but it's smooth. It's not it's not super creamy or luscious or velvety. The lactose is probably adding a little bit of that smooth character, maybe bumping up the body a little bit. But the taste, this is going to be one of the easiest reviews when it comes to the taste that I've uh, had in a long time. Forefront. It, you hit you get hit with that sweet pineapple character right after that that nice fresh coconut character it's sweet it intertwines it's pina colada passes through the palate midway through there's a kiss of tartness that kind of hits and then as it finishes there's a slight bit of acidity and it finishes uh slightly dry with no bitterness so i will say this i think this isn't as tart or sour as i would like it it's also a little bit sweeter i would want either some kind of like maybe moderate bitterness or a semi-dry finish on the back of the pile to kind of break up. Uh, the, I mean, again, it's pretty much one note. It's pina colada. But I would want something from the actual base beer to come to the forefront and be like, hey, it's just not pina colada. We have some you know, grainy uh, malt sensation. We have some kind of hoppy bitterness, whatever the case may be. And it's really not doing that. I love pina colada, so 
I'm going to be probably in the minority of enjoying this one. If you don't like pina colada, you probably wouldn't buy this one. But even if you do, it might be a little bit tough if you don't like sweet beers. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't super sweet. This isn't overly sweet. It's just, it's a 7.3% sour. It's pina colada. You kind of have an idea it's going to be a little bit sweet. But when you call it a sour ale, I want a sourness. Or at the very, very least, a firm, firm tartness. I'm not getting that here. Am I disappointed? A little bit. Do I really care? Slightly. Am I going to enjoy this one? For sure. You can't detect a 7.3, a little bit of warming into the chest, very slight, but on the palate, no way. So the pros of this one, I really love pina colada. Uh, I, I love pina coladas in general, but anything that has coconut or a combination of pineapple and coconut, I love it. And you definitely get it here. And it feels authentic. It doesn't feel like a candied, fake kind of pina colada vibe. It, it's, it's real. Um, I like the fact that uh, the body is a little bit crisper. I don't want it like super smooth and crazy, like, you know, uh, fruit smoothie-esque uh, kind of uh, mouthfeel to it. So I like the body. I like the mouthfeel. I like the flavor. Here's the thing. The negatives are it leans a little bit too sweet. There's not enough of that firm tartness. And I need something on the back of the palate to kind of break up the monotony of just pina colada. So, um... I mean, flavor-wise, this is like a four and a half. Like, honestly, like I, I love the flavor to this one. But I know the drinkability of this one uh, takes a big hit when you're talking about the sweetness, not enough tartness, not enough bitterness, things of that nature. So I am going to give Imperial Pina Colada Hill from Southern Gris. I'll be fair with it, but I'm going to give that a uh, straight four out of five. It's the best I could do. I was debating between that and maybe like a high four, but I think I'm going to keep it at a four out of five. I will say this, if you see this one locally, like if you got drops like we did of uh, Southern Grist stuff or you're in Nashville or in Tennessee and you see this one at some point, um, if you like pina coladas, give it a go. But just be forewarned that there's not a lot of tartness here and it's more to the sweeter side. That said, I do enjoy it. So four out of five. Uh, price and availability. Now, this is where it goes sideways in a lot of respects. Number one, at the, at the brewery's $20 a four pack, 7.3% pineapple puree, shredded coconut, lactose. That's kind of the going rate. Whether or not you agree with the value, that's the going rate kind of for something like this. In my neck of the woods, I believe I paid six or six fifty for a can of that. Usually, when you get distro in areas that they don't usually show up, you're going to pay a little bit more. So, I would definitely not pay six six fifty a can. I probably wouldn't even pay five dollars a can for a four four out of five beer. Uh, but the going rate at the brewery is fine. If it lands in distro and you have to pay six seven dollars a can. I probably wouldn't drive from that aspect. Availability, again, here's where I don't really know. We got one drop of uh, five or six different beers from Southern Grist back in the fall of, say, 2021. And since then, I haven't seen any new beers from them. I don't know if it's going to be an occasional thing or uh, a you know, regular rotating kind of drop. Or if that's just it, we're not going to see them for another five years or whatever. Uh, I know they get distro throughout uh, Tennessee, but outside of that, I have no idea. Uh, Tyler over at South 10 Beer Reviews, good friend of mine, fellow beer tuber, if you know their distro... Let me know, buddy. I'd appreciate it. So not much more to say about it. Solid um, beer. Again, if this just said tart ale or it said just ale with uh, lactose pineapple puree and, and shredded coconut, I would be more inclined to give this a higher score. But for what it is, it's it's is, you're really not getting the sour ale portion. So a little disappointed from that aspect, but I do enjoy it. So if you've had this one before, throw your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it because I'd be curious if anyone out there had this one, uh, what your thoughts are. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by. Till the next one. Cheers.